Good morning. In this video, we're going to go over how to patent software. You shall learn what exactly are software patents and how are they different from other types of patents and how to actually go about filing your software patent application. And if you stick around and watch this video to the end, I will show you exactly where you can download a free template and free information to get started writing your own software patent application. My name is Brad Fosh. I've been filing patent applications for over 11 years. I'm a registered patent agent with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. I've filed over 500 different patent applications in a variety of areas, including many software patent applications, and I'm a certified licensing professional. So before we jump into software patents, let's talk a little bit about the different types of patents you can choose from when you have a new invention. If your new invention was a new type of plant, you would file a plant patent. If your new invention was a new design, like a new Coke bottle design, you would file a design patent. What we're going to be talking about here for software patents are called utility patents, which means they're, they're something that has a unique and usefulness to them. And so there's different types of utility patent applications. There's a provisional patent application, a non-provisional, continuation, CIP, and divisional. And that's just a few of them. If you want to learn more about the different types of patent applications, uh, you can visit patentfile.org. So software patents or software patent applications are a type of utility patent applications. Now utility patent applications are either compositions of matter, so these are things like widgets or tools, the traditional things you'd think of when you think of a new patent or a new invention, but they can also include things like methods. So in the past, um, say a new chemical process um, or a new biotechnology process, those would all be protected as method patents. And that's been you know, around for 100 or so years here in the United States. Recently, within the past you know, few decades, people have been able to get patents on methods performed by software. And so that's where the term software patents come from. Um, they're basically any methods that are performed by a computer. And so software can be protected two different ways. The software code is actually protected under copyright. And so that's really easy to protect your software code by copyright. But if your software code is more than just code, you know, it's more than just a website or more than just a blog, if it's actually a really neat piece of software that can perform a new and useful method or function, then that would also fall under the patentable category. And so you could actually protect it by software, I mean by a copyright and by a software patent. You should know that it is getting harder and harder to get software patents allowed. You know, 10 or 15 years ago, you could probably get a really broad software patent allowed on, say, a method of uh, purchasing an item online and adding it to a shopping cart. Um, nowadays, it's you know very hard to get those type of broad software patents, and rightfully so. I think a lot of people abuse the software patent system. And so, who uses software patents? All the big technologies company, all the big technology companies do and it's probably one of the most valuable uh, type of patents you can have, at least nowadays. It's important to know the best time to file your software patent. A lot of developers don't realize this, but if you publish your software online or you make it available for sale, um, you can actually block yourself from getting a patent if you don't already have your patent filed first. So I always tell people you should really Try to get your patent filed first. At least file a provisional patent application. It's very cheap and easy to do. Do that before you launch your product or launch your software because you might lose your patent rights if you don't follow it in that order. Now in the United States we get this 12 month grace period which means if you want patent protection in the United States and you did launch your software first, that's okay. You have 12 months from the date your software first went public to get your patent filed. And so this is a typical timeline. If you have your idea, you should do a kind of basic patent search, make sure no one else is doing what you think is novel. Uh, build your prototype or your um, alpha or your, or your beta version of your software. Then file your provisional patent before you show anyone or uh, have it available to the public. 
once your provisional patents filed then you can do your alpha or your beta launch or, or a soft launch to see how well your software is doing maybe find some customers find some investors uh, build up some buzz about your software product then file your non-provisional patent that has to be filed within a year from the date you filed your provisional patent and that's kind of the real patent that goes through the patent process and ultimately issues uh, with a patent number and then your patent will expire 20 years from the date you filed it so there's only two ways that you can apply for a software patent or any patent for that matter in the United States uh, you can hire a registered patent agent or patent attorney to write it for you um, on the cheaper end that's going to be about a thousand dollars uh, we've paid all the way up to uh, $40,000 at the university where I work uh, for a very complicated software patent. Um, the second option is to do it yourself. Um, as the inventor, you can uh, write and file your own patent application yourself. And I'll show you how to do that in video two, which is coming up next. Um, if you do want to download a, a software patent template or see what different examples of software patents look like, uh, you can go to our website, patentfile.org software. So again, in video two, uh, we'll show you how to file a software patent and what the important things are that should be included in a software patent. If you have any questions, here's my email address. Please email me. And if you like this video, if it was useful to you, uh, please hit the like button. Thank you.